Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of the Communist States of America Let's Play here in Hearts of Iron 4. Um, so, the first episode is up and I've been reading your comments and my god, there was a lot of comments. <laughs> uh, I feel like most of the comments were just complaining that I'm playing the United States instead of Norway. And come on guys, I, I will play Norway at some point, Jesus Christ, I just need to be a little bit better at the game <laughs> if I wish to achieve anything <laughs> as freaking Norway. Like, do you know how few people live in Norway? You see these mountains? It's not easy to live in these mountains, man. Not a lot of people who can be bothered. There's a reason the Vikings decided to invade England. Uh, because they realized, you know what, living in these fucking mountains, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Should we maybe go live here instead? Yeah, you know what, that sounds like a good idea. And that's what they did. Uh, my point is, <laughs> I, I will do a Norway campaign at some point, I am of course Norwegian myself, so that only makes perfect sense, but I do want to be a little bit better at the game. Uh, I don't want to have to be in that, you know, situation that I am right now where I'm constantly having to Google, like, how do you build boats? I don't know. Uh, I want to be a little bit better than that. Anyways, though, I read some other comments as well, and... One comment was uh, a guy requesting that I turn off historical AI. Um, and while it was only one comment, it was getting quite some upvotes. So, uh, you know, I bowed to the comment section, well, sometimes, and this is one of them. So I've gone ahead and restarted the game since we didn't really play that far into it. And I've gonna just gone ahead and replicated everything that I did previously. Uh, the only reason I'm bringing you guys into the game here a little bit before uh, we... Uh, before the month we were, I think we were in May in uh, the previous episode, we're now in April, but you know, we're getting there, is that we got this event, and I can't remember if we got this event in the previous uh, save game, but I don't think we did. Essentially, there are people here that might want to have a communist coup in the government, because as always, I click the uh, communist coup option instead of civil war, when I hired Earl Browder to get daily communism support. So we have uh, almost 5% communism support now, so it's still going to be quite a while until we really get that going. But, uh, you know, that's uh, definitely a thing. So if you want to read this, then go ahead. But uh, you better pause the, pause the video, because now it's gone. Alright, we're now back to where we were in the previous episode. Uh, so we're here in the technology tree, and I think I'm going to go with concentrated industry. Just straight up boost the factory output. I don't know if that's um, military or civilian, maybe it's both, who knows. Uh, I mean, we can d decide between dispersed or concentrated, but I think dispersed is mainly um, something you research if you are threatened by bombing. If you are not, then you should go concentrated. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, as always, but that sounds like the way it is to me. Um, because, I mean, let's face it, who on earth is going to bomb the United States? Uh, I've gone ahead and repositioned my troops as well a little bit, so that, uh, I mean, they, they used to be dispersed all over these islands we own, but now they're, you know, mainly on the islands uh, close to Japan, so that if they want to bomb our shit, uh, or just attack our islands, we'll have some troops at least ready to potentially fend them off. Uh, the other armies are, of course, along the, the borders, except for this guy. Uh, now... Ah! Huh. I was about to say, I wonder how I assigned units to armies, and I just figured that one out. Good on me. Now, does that mean he's gonna start marching? No? You're just gonna sit there? Sort of wish they automatically joined up, because now I think I have to delete orders and do it again. In order for him to join the fun of guarding the border against Mexico. We might not be able to build a wall, but um, we will build a wall of men. Make communism great again, as one uh, totally original commenter <laughs> told me in the comment section. Construction 1 has been finished, that should speed up construction. Uh, let's do excavation as well, because even if we are drowning in resources, I guess it couldn't hurt to have some more. Uh, the fact that we are drowning is actually giving us some free uh, factories. We are gaining 6 extra factories from trade. I've also gone in and queued up 2 new um, civilian factories. So hopefully we will be rather industrious soon. Communism is rising quickly. Well, relatively quickly anyways. So hopefully we get a coup soon. We have finished rock 
our support rock island, which is going to give us some tech bonuses. Uh, I think we're going to go with reaffirming the Monroe Doctrine, uh, which is going to increase trade opinion with uh, all American nations, which can be useful. Right now I'm actually trading with Liberia to get the rubber that I need. Um, surplus. Yeah, we actually have a surplus of rubber. But, uh, oh, Spanish Civil War's broken out! National Spain declare war on Spain. Wow, it's just called Spain? No, it's called Republican Spain, okay. Uh, okay, good on them. Yeah, it seems like the Civil War always breaks out the same way. The borders always happen like this. Uh, which is interesting, I guess. Also, speak. well, this is historic, I guess. Uh, but... Something that is unhistoric is that the Germans have yet to remilitarize the Rhineland. I'm pretty confident they should have done that by now had this been historic. Pretty sure we saw them remilitarize in the previous episode, but since this is a new save, they haven't done it yet. So, uh, who knows? Maybe they'll just not bother. <laughs> that would be kind of hilarious. They, like, the World War II never breaks out. The Germans are like, yeah, actually, we're, to we're kind of okay with the Treaty of Versailles. And we're just going to sit here, because, you know, if we declare war on someone, who knows? What's probably going to happen is that uh, we'll just lose even more territories in the east, and we don't want that, do we? No, you don't want you don't want that, Germany. Honestly, these borders right here are kind of pretty. This all, this all, I, li I like Poland this way. It's good looking. Even if that's going to make a Lithuanian salty. I don't know, that, that's the shame of international borders, isn't it? Like, uh... In order for something to be pretty, other things will have to be ugly. Like if you want a glorious greater Lithuania, you have to sacrifice the glorious greater Poland. So, it's a shame. The Olympic, Olympic Games are done. Uh, so, at least Hitler is doing something, even if he's not bothering remilitarizing the Rhineland. Let's see here, we're about to finish some technology, so we'll have to make a decision on what we want next. There we go, mechanical computing has been finished, which should increase our research speed. Now we do have a bonus to some support equipment. Maintenance company. Do I know what that is? Nope. I think actually I would prefer going for motorized. It's one of those basic fucking technologies that it sounds logical to me that we just want to have. Okay, I just researched the M2 light tank. Which I assume is better than the Great War Tank, so... Swap that over, kill some of the efficiency, but that's gonna come back. That of course allows us another research slot. I think we're gonna do... Some fighter... well, some fighter? A fighter. The Warhawk. Now there is a focus for air stuff, does that impact tech? Yes. 50% research bonus for air doctrine. <clears throat> However, uh, is there a difference in the time it takes to research things? 170 days. Yeah, well, I guess it's years ahead. But... Hmm. Like, if, it, if we magically teleported ourselves to 1940, would this then be... 170 days as well Because in a sense it sounds logical to me to wait with the bonus So that the second 1940 rolls around you can just speed on and get the uh, Extra good planes of course that means you have to postpone getting um, um, Fuck I keep clicking <laughs> the wrong thing you have to then postpone getting some of these other things um, Close air support models. Okay. Uh, well, actually, there's just one research bonus. Heavy aircraft. Say, so, yeah, it's only this one that just. Oh, okay. Never mind. Air doctrine. That's different. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, well, that makes this more uh, just, you know, understandable. That th then there's no point in waiting. So, um, we'll just go for this. I think. Unless there's something else we really, really need. We're working on motorized. Uh, special forces. I don't know. It seems like you want to get that equipment going, though. Guess we could get a tank. 
I mean, if we just got straight up to the steward, then we could sort of uh, skip having to even care about this one. I think that makes sense. Since we have a look, yeah, let's let's focus on tanks. That's just that's what I decided we we're gonna do right now. I mean, by the time war breaks out and shit, I am I am assuming we're gonna have both tanks and uh, airplanes. Okay, so the Germans were a bit slow, but uh, they did it eventually. The remilitarization of the Rhineland has happened. Uh, we have on our hand re reformed re what what is it called? Reaffirmed, I know English, the <laughs> Monroe Doctrine. Now I think I will wait here because I don't want a bunch of demo democracy support popping up in uh, the Americas. Even if that political power would be super nice, I think I will wait because I do want that to be communist support instead. How are we doing on communists? Communism, 21%. Still going to be a while. So let's do the let's do that air, air division thing. Because, I mean, most of the other focuses are uh, locked because we're not at war. And world tension just isn't high enough. Let's see here. Rhineland. Oh, the Soviet Union is supporting the Spanish. Come on, guys. Come on, Germany. Get the tension rolling. Honestly, if you, if you would just invade Poland right now, I wouldn't mind. I'm willing to sacrifice Poland if that allows me to get more national focuses. Because I'm, that ju I'm just that kind. Class conflicts divide the United States. The Communist Revolutionary Movement wants a fringe popular among radical academics in theory and troublemakers in practice has seen increased support among the American working class. The fact that even more people choose to identify themselves with a class at all implies that Marxist ideas are spreading beyond those who actively seek to overthrow the government. Democratic Party members lament this development, longing for a time when American was what people identified as first and foremost. Their concerns are not unfounded. It could be argued that a revolution is already underway, occurring on several levels of society and it may be too late to stop it. The people may call themselves whatever they want. Honestly, I prefer them to call themselves commies. Although, losing national unity... Not good. Although really, what does national unity impact? Is it only, like... Uh, willingness to fight people who prosecute war, yeah. I think it's only... the only thing that matters is, like, how quickly you'll surrender. But I mean, if I'm gonna... if my country is getting occupied, I've, sold, I've already fucked up badly enough to <laughs> warrant a restart, haven't I? So... <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be too worried about that, but you know, I, I, I would assume that national unity impacted more than just your willingness to surrender. Anyways, let's have a, look, have a look at the Spanish Civil War. Honestly, not too much going on. I mean, this part of Republican Spain has fallen, so definitely looks like Republican Spain is losing, uh, which is normal. The nationalists usually do win. Uh, I guess you as a player can impact that by sending volunteers. Can I even send volunteers? Because um, I honestly wouldn't mind that the uh, the Republicans were to win. I would be very much okay with that. Where do I do that? Send expeditionary force. We must be at same faction. We must be at same faction to send expeditionary forces. Okay, uh, sending expedition forces is an act of aggression. We must fight alongside Republican Spain in a war first. Okay. That's lame. Ooh, free civilian factories. Yeah, that's not useful to have. Let's go for another civilian factory. The more civilian factories we have, the more civilian factories we can build. That's how I view it. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything else that I really want other than just spamming civilian factories so that later on we can start spamming military factories. Try and get this deficit a little bit uh, lessened. Hey, look at that, we're actually doing a... we're actually rocking a surplus now of artillery. Good on us. Uh, does that mean I can just stop? Like, can I put that production line on hold? Like, you guys don't need to produce anymore. Like, just stop it. Go away. No? That's not how that works. 
I'll have to just destroy the production line, but then I'll have to give my sweet, sweet production efficiency. Is it worth have keeping a military factory around here? Just for the sake of that efficiency? Well, this is Tower Artillery 1. I'm going to attack. Um, let's see here. Artillery. Artillery. Mm, yeah, well, to get to improve the artillery, we need to wait until uh, 1939. So I guess it makes sense having that uh, factory pumping out some artillery in the meantime. We have some nice bonuses there, though, so we will want to do some artillery research at some point. Oh, we actually have three military factories. Oh, yes. Uh, give bit more infantry equipment. Alright, research finished. Concentrated industry one. Now we have to choose improved machinery tools, concentrated industry two, or construction two. We're just a tiny bit ahead here, but uh, that's fine. I think we're gonna go with construction. Because. We will be replacing our current production lines at some point anyways. But this bonus will last to the end of the game. I mean, the, the other bonuses will last to the end of the game as well, of course, but they will... Um, what am I trying to logic here? Um, we will... fuck me. Well, now... I don't know. Hopefully some of you understood what I was meaning. I, although I'm starting to think I don't even understand myself. Regardless, the election of 1936. The day of the presidential election has arrived. Incumbent Franklin Delano Roosevelt has already implemented several of the programs referred collectively to as the New Deal, intended to take the US out of the Great Depression. While many of the efforts have been popular, his plans to further extend the role and power of the government has been met with criticism from his opponent, Republican Alf Landon. Coming from the oil industry, Landon wants to see greater economic freedom, while Roosevelt and the Democratic Party wants to want to expand social security and ensure economic stability. The election may be a close call or a majority victory for the Democrats. Okay, looking over it, I think the Democrats are the better party. We'll gain the National Spirit New Deal, which gives us infants. Inf well, okay, it's infrastructure. That's not as good, actually. <laughs> uh, so the Standard Oil of California is better because it gives you better industrial research time. But we also gain staunch constitutionalist, which means that we will take longer to be communist, and I don't think we can afford that, so... I guess we'll be Democrat. Oh well, even if the bonuses are not very interesting. National unity is... I guess it's a thing. Once again, maybe it does affect other things as well, and that makes it better than I am making it sound. Okay, we just finished Ear, War, Plans, Division, which is good, I guess. I think we're gonna go with the Bureau of Ships. All of these just boost the production of ships and airplanes. And we're producing more ships right now than we are working on planes. Maybe I want to change that. I mean, I don't know. It's not like I have any fucking military factories that I can spend on it. Excavation 1 has been finished. That's nice. I think I want to focus on the industry though. Production efficiency cap. I think I will do concentrated industry instead. We just have one day penalty there, so that's fine. Um, yep. Okay, I might be doing something dumb here. But I think we're gonna ditch the tank production line. And we're ditching the artillery production line. Because we have plenty of that in surplus right now. So I would rather have those factories work on basic infantry equipment, because we are still in a huge deficit there. And without that being a positive, our units are going to be shoit. Uh, well, actually, they're pretty good in terms of fighting strength. So, I guess that's nice. Wait, no orders? You don't have orders? Did not tell you to uh, fucking guard the border? Wow, just the dipshit from Puerto Rico. Okay, well, fuck's sake. Delete orders. And let's try that again, eh? Now, guard the border. We're just gonna make this guy go over here for some reason. I don't know, who cares? It's fine, don't worry about it. Let's see what's going on in Europe. 
Uh, look at that, Republic in Spain. Well, they've taken, they've lost Madrid, but they are pushing back a little bit over here. And this area has been surrounded, so I assume that's going to fall soon. So who knows? Can I see who's supporting who? Republic in Spain, military access. Yeah, so they've got volunteers from the Soviet Union, and Italy and Germany are sending volunteers to the Spanish. Uh, God, now my history knowledge is... Uh, now I will have to admit my embarrassingly shitty history knowledge. Like, when is... When did Anschluss historically happen? Are we far away? Was it 38? God, I have to Google this. We finished motorized thingies. It's nice, I guess. Let's go for improved machine tools. Uh, because all of those industry things, they seem obvious to get early on. I don't know. Once again, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, regardless, though, look at this. For some reason, the growth of the Communist Party has slowed down really badly. At this popularity, effects are scaled to 25%. Not good. Well, there's nothing else we can do, is there, to further increase. There's not like a second dipshit. I wonder actually what happens when you, if you hire both a, famished, a fascist demagogue and a revolutionary at the same time. That would be interesting. Regardless though, um, this is going to take a while. But uh, I guess we can wait. Alright, we finished another technology. I guess it was the Bureau of Ships. Let's go for, uh, or uh, focus, let's go for air support. I think. Shit, I should double check. Because I think these, yeah, these are mutually exclusive. So we can either bomb shit or we can support and tactically bomb. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the difference between strategic and tactical bombing is. Um, but here we, here we only get uh, tactical bombing, no strategic bombing, but here we, can, here we get both strategic and tactical. Ah, I don't know, that seems like the better one to me. I guess that implies that they mean that uh, strategic bombing is dank, but I don't know if I believe them. Also, uh, a while ago, Italy annexed Ethiopia. I don't even think I need to mention that though, because it's kind of obvious. Also, I grouped my dipshits in the Pacific together, because why not? Let's see what's going on over here. Is the war broken out yet? Is there war between the Japanese? No? No, no war? You're just hanging out? Making love to the, uh, the Germans? Can I make friends, actually? I should consider making friends. Oi, Stalin. Um, make love. No, can't not do that. The daily cost of power. No, fuck that. The Great Depression is sort of preventing us from doing that, isn't it? Fuck, we need to, we need to invade someone. If only to get rid of that awful modifier. It's so bad. I'm thinking the United Kingdom. If I get the opportunity, I think I'll, I'll fucking invade the United Kingdom before you... Like... Maybe even before I go... Well, actually, if I could invade Italy... Well, I honestly don't need to invade them. I just need to go to war. Um, are you guys in a faction yet? Let's play... Yes. Faction map mode, please. Here we are. No, Italy is still not in the Axis. So... Man, imagine how good it would be if we could invade Italy before they joined up in the Axis. Just swoop in and be like, Hey, we're at war now! And then just not do anything. <laughs> just let it sit around. I guess we would have to send some troops, though. Hmm. I guess in that sense, I would pre prefer invading Britain because then I can just take these territories. And I don't know. I, like I don't know how much, how much convincing new nations need before they'll uh, give you white peace. Although I might not. Like, is there really any penalty to just sitting around being at war with Italy? Uh, like, if, I don't know, send some ships over here maybe, just patrol a, lit, a little bit. And just prevent the Italians from sending any boats over to me. Depends though, that's, uh, like, I would have to have a stronger navy than the Italians, but I can't believe that the Italians have too much of a navy. M3 Stewart. That's a nice meme, dude. That's a very nice meme. I like that. Uh, let's go for, well, we're working on, yeah, every, all industry stuff is already being researched. 
Could we do some doctrine? Detection. All this is nice and all, but there's no bonuses to production that I can see here. So I see I say we go research some planes. Tactical bombers. Okay, so here's strategic bomber. So that's the thing we just sort of ditched. Um, so I guess we'll fo we're going to focus on tactical bombers. But I think before that, even I will want myself a um, warhawk. That sounds logical to me. Uh, yeah, because there's no bonuses to do that. So the qu we need to get that before the war goes, before war begins, so that we can really start producing them. But now that we have a actually a decent tank, let's go ahead and pop up a new armored vehicle thingy. M3 Stewart. Wow, we can't even select the older models. And uh, we need to assign a military factory, so I guess we'll... Like, how are we doing on support equipment? Uh, we still have a deficit, so I still want to produce some. Um... So I guess we are just taking one of the thingies away. Oh god damn it. Yeah, we're taking one away from this place. There we are. Let's yeah, pop it in there. So now we're gonna be producing some tanks. Maybe it would be worth producing even more tanks. We do need tanks. Armor is important and shit. I think. <laughs> uh we do have a armor division. How does that look? That looks nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm smart enough to really... I, I don't know, it seems like it would be logical to add some support artillery or anything, really. It doesn't make sense to have a division that doesn't have jack shit. I guess, yeah, we, I think I'm going to start having my dipshits exercise, actually. Um, just to get that uh, experience. So yeah, you go exercise and give me that fucking army experience. Even if this this even if this lowers our production, yeah, we are now actually losing artillery, but that's fine. Uh, I'm not too worried. Okay, we actually have a decent bit of light tank. Oh, okay. So light tank is just the equipment. Okay, so canceling the uh, tank production was stupid then. Because light tank is... All light tanks are the same. Wait, why is light tank 2? I thought we would produce the better one. Where is more technology? M3 Stewart. I guess all of them are light tanks. Huh. Okay, well, I just learned something. Don't cancel light tank production lines. Even if you are expecting to start producing a new one soon. Because that didn't make much sense, does it? Okay, I've got in a deselected ships here. I think I want to start a, um, a motorized factory thing. So we're going to be producing less infantry equipment, but if we can do this... Uh, we are missing what? Oh. oh, here it is. What is this? Equipment required for division reinforcement artillery. Wait, it's run out already? Shut up, it hasn't run out. We have plenty of it. Fuck you, game. What are you on about? Support equipment on the other end, not doing so good. Uh, we need to produce more of that. Ugh, okay. Uh, fuck, we're not going to be producing any infantry equipment. Yeah, 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 not good. Did that do the trick? Come on! Go positive! Yes! I mean, now we still have a... Ah, oh, never mind, I just neg went negative again. Fuck! Three civilian factories. Yes, fuck, I need more military factories, man. This whole not having jack shit when it comes to military factories cannot continue. Oh god, look at that. This is horrible. Okay, okay, never mind. I think we actually have to go stop trading because uh, if we look into logistics, uh, we're losing a bunch of fucking equipment. These fuckers are using up crazy amount. Okay, you don't get exercise anymore. Sorry about that. But uh, I guess they're happy. This cannot continue. We have not enough stuff. So stop using my equipment, please. And let's get, to, get back to producing. I guess that means we can 
stop using so many things here and actually start producing some more infantry equipment to get rid of that awful fucking um, lack of resources we have here. Oh, well, I think we're going to end the episode here, though. How is communism coming along? It is still a 42%. Wow, it's barely pro barely progressing. Don't know if there's anything I can do. It's uh, it's a shame it takes, that it takes so long. But I guess it's... I mean, I was about to say realistic, but the fact that <laughs> the United States can become so fucking communistic is not super realistic anyways, though, so I shouldn't complain, should I? Thanks so much for watching this episode. Make sure to leave your comments about, uh, you know, suggestions for what I should do in tips and chat and stuff like that. Thanks so much for watching again, and until next time, bye.